Welcome back to the channel, and if you are able to tell, if I press escape, my menu looks completely different. That is because I have the Essential Mod installed. The Essential Mod will let you play with friends without having to create a server, without having to buy a server or anything like that. You could actually create groups or actually access this library with a lot of different cosmetics. So it is pretty cool to have the Essential Mod right now, and I'm actually going to be teaching you how to download and install the Essential Mod for Minecraft 1.19.4 in this video. So let's go ahead and get started with this guide. Okay, so the first is step to actually installing essential mod well i know it makes sense but it's going to be downloading essential mod and if you click on the second link in the description i'll bring you to essential mod website this is the official website for downloading the essential mod once you're here in this page go ahead and click where it says download that is going to redirect you over here where all you have to do is to scroll down and as you can see we have multiple versions and not just multiple versions, but multiple instance. As you can see, we have Fabric, we have Forge, and we have the installer. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to be downloading the Forge version for, for Essential Mod. However, if you are somebody who is running Fabric on your computer, if you're playing Minecraft using Fabric as a mod loader, you could of course download Fabric, and every other step will be the same uh, as downloading the Forge version. The only thing different is that you're gonna be adding the mod to the Fabric folder instead of the Forge folder. Also, there's the installers option right here. Assuming it's pretty similar to installing other mods where you just download an installer and you just set up the installer how you want it and it will install the mod for you. However, if you install essential mod using the installer, you probably won't be able to add other mods because what you will do is create an instance of Minecraft using essential. So pretty much you would just make a Minecraft that has essential in it but that's the only mod you will be able to add. And that is the reason we're going to be using Forge because with Forge, we could add Essential and we could also add any other mods that we like. And I myself like to add multiple mods at once. So yeah, that's why we're going to be using Forge. However, you could also use Fabric. There's no issue with using Fabric. Now for this guy, we're downloading the 1.19.4. So as you might be able to tell, we're going to click 1.19.4 for Forge and that is going to start the download automatically. As you can see, the file is downloading. In my case, it's asking me where I want to save the file. And once your file has downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop that file into the desktop. As you can see, we have the file right here. Go ahead and put it in your desktop. There we go. We have the essential Forge 1.19.4 mod in our desktop. Now, if you have Forge installed or Fabric and you already downloaded your Essential mod, all you have to do is open the mods folder and drag and drop it into your mods folder. I'm assuming you already know where your mods folder is because you know how to mod Minecraft. That's why you have Forge and Fabric. However, I'm going to go ahead and assume that most of you have never modded Minecraft and that's why you're here watching this guy. That is why the next step is going to be installing Forge because we just downloaded the Forge instance. We're going to install Forge to add the Essential mod to Minecraft. So go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Forge. Now, of course, you can look at the screenshots and read through our in-depth guide in here, but if you are just following along the video, go ahead and scroll down and find the button that says Download Forge here. Go ahead and click in there. That is going to redirect you to the Forge website, and we are going to look for the matching version of our mod. In this video, we're using 1.19.4, so all you have to do is look in the top left and find that version. In here is 1.19.4 right here on the top left. Go ahead and click on that. And once you find the matching version of Forge, go ahead and click on the installer. And that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to wait five seconds. It's very important that you don't click anything. Okay, just wait five seconds. As you can see, it says waiting. Please wait. Wait five seconds and then a button label as escape is going to appear. Go ahead and click on that. And that is going to start the download automatically for Forge. Once you have your Forge file downloaded, of course, you could drag and drop it into your desktop, just like we did with Essentials. You don't actually have to do this part of dropping everything to the desktop, but it's just a way for us to keep everything together and organize. Let's go ahead and drag and drop that file into here. If you're using Chrome, you can find it in this little arrow. Of course, as long as you have Chrome updated. Anyways, now that we have Forge and we have the Essential Forge, we are kind of ready to start the installation process. So the first thing that you want to do is open your Minecraft launcher, open Minecraft vanilla, just your regular Minecraft 1.19.4, let it run, okay? Just let it open, load to the main menu, and then exit out of the game. We need to run the game at least once in order to create a folder for the 1.19.4 Minecraft version. So we just run the game once, close it, and then close out from the game and the launcher. Very important that you close the launcher as well. And then go ahead and double click on Forge. We have the installer right here. Just double click it, and that is going to open the Forge installer. All you have to do in here is just click OK. And that is going to start the installation for Forge. And while Forge is installing, let me tell you real quick about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. I know you are trying to play Minecraft with friends because that is probably why you are downloading the Essential mod. However, if you don't want to go through the struggle of having to download so many mods and having to do many things, you could actually use Apex Hosting and create a server for Minecraft. You could create a Java or Bedrock server. And the good thing about these servers is that they're open 24-7. Because remember, with the Essential mod, 
your friends will be able to join you, but they will only be able to join a local world and they will only be able to play as long as you are there. But with Apex Hosting, you could create a server that your friends could access 24 seven. And not only that, something that I personally love about Apex Hosting is that you could actually access a server console through your phone, meaning that you could be away from your computer and you could actually access a server console, kick people out, uh, change the settings of the server, whatever you wanna do through your phone. And on top of all of that, if you use our link in the description, you'll get 25% off, 25% off okay that's a lot of percent off your first server with apex hosting so i'm gonna leave that link in the description so it's probably going to be the first link above every other link in the description and now let's get back to the guide as you can see we already have forge installed and we know that forge is installed properly because it says right here successful install so go ahead and click on okay and then we could even delete the installer for forge and we could delete this little text document that appears when we are installing forge now go ahead and launch your minecraft launcher and once the minecraft launcher open if you install forge properly you will know that you did so because forge will be selected automatically just like you can see right here forge is selected here on the bottom left if forge is not showing there you could click on installations and make sure that modded is selected as you can see if modded is not selected you won't have forge so just make sure you select modded and another thing that you could do if that doesn't fix it is just click on new installation and where it says latest release scroll down until you find forge as you can see mine is right here is the third option 1.19.4 forge you can name this whatever you want i'm going to name it forge and then you could click where it says create, and that is going to create a Forge instance, okay? But I'm assuming most of you had Forge automatically selected when you open your launcher because you're following along and you should be doing everything properly. Once you have Forge selected, go ahead and click where it says installations and then find the Forge instance again, as you can see mine is right here, and click on this little folder that appears right next to the play button. Once you click on that folder, you're gonna see a lot of different files, okay? But don't go crazy, don't get confused. I'm going to show you what to do to add the essential mod. All you have to do once you have this folder open, okay, is look for a folder called, and I'm actually gonna make this a little bit smaller, and I'm gonna minimize this in the background. All you have to do is look for a folder called mods, M-O-D-S, and our mods folder is right here. I just saw it, it's right here. And as you can see, our mods folder is there and it already has a mod inside. But what happens if you don't have the mods folder there, right? What happens if you open this folder? You see a lot of files, but not the mods folder. I'm gonna go ahead and delete mine. What happens if you don't have the mods folder? All you have to do is right click, click new, click folder and name it M-O-D-S. So yeah, you could actually create the mods folder yourself. Anyways, however you did it, just find the mods folder. As you can see, mine is right here now that I just created. Go ahead and find that folder and all you have to do is drag and drop the essential mod that we downloaded earlier. Go ahead and drop it in there. Now that we have the mod in there, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher again. And now all you have to do is launch Forge. So just go ahead and click on play right next to Forge and just click that you understand the risk and let it load. I'll see you inside Forge. And once you're inside the game, as you can see, we have a different menu right here. We have a different welcoming screen. As you can see, it says essential has been updated. So that is pretty cool. If we click continue, we see that we have a whole different menu in here where you can see your social, you can see your friends, right? You could invite people, you could add friends, you could make groups. This is pretty cool. And that is pretty much how to install the essential mod. If you wanna play with your friends, all you have to do is launch a world, whatever world you have, just launch it or create it if you wanna create it from scratch. And once you're inside the world, I'm actually gonna wait for this to load. Once you're inside the world, you could press escape and you could actually click invite and you could invite your friends to this menu in here. You could change the settings of the world. Let's put it on normal. Let's leave it on survival, click next. And then just select your friend and click invite. My friend is not online right now. My only friend that I have on this account is not online right now, so he won't be able to join. But that is pretty much how to invite your friends to join you. Now, something that is very important for you to know is that your friends need to have essential mod as well for them to be able to join. So if you want your friends to play with you, they need to get the mod. So I recommend you send them this video so they could actually download it as well and you could play together. Anyways, remember that if you wanna make a Minecraft server, I will leave you a link in the description so you could get 25% off with Apex Hosting. And don't forget to let me know if you enjoyed this video and as always bye bye